Will Homo sapiens be superseded by a greater human race? The evolution of a species is updated by many scientists. Since Homo sapiens still have many factors needed to adapt to the environment, like disease, clean water, and food, therefore humans will be replaced by a more greater and superior human race. This is because technology will advance, leading us to the stars, and we will be able to develop factors of other planets. Will our arm races against diseases? We are able to develop the global warming on Earth and to adapt to living in space. What is natural selection and biological evolution, and how does it work? What is biological evolution? Biological evolution is the process by accumulated changes which derive from earlier species, creating new species. But you may think, why change? Well, the reason why living organisms change is because all living things must adapt to certain factors. The environment plays a big part upon how organisms change and develop. These factors can include the availability of food, the availability of water, and whether there are predators, just to name a few. Natural selection is best explained as the mechanism behind evolution, not evolution. Created by Charles Darwin in his book on the origin of species by means of natural selection, it puts forth that the environment chooses the best characteristics, which are well suited and reduces characteristics which are not. Survival and reproduction is key to the survival of a species, and over a few generations they are able to become well suited to living in their environment. Living organisms change by means of mutation, in which genetic material is created or slightly altered upon. This creates uniqueness for an individual, creates variation in a species, and if the organism survives, the variation or gene can be passed down. On evolution, humans originally evolved from ape-like ancestors, for we belong to the order of primates. Like all primates, we have penodactyl digits, a large brain compared to body size, and a flexible skeleton, just to name a few. From a suggestion of similar traits, genetic connections, and fossils, humans and other primates evolved from a shrew-like ancestor. Australopithecus, meaning sudden ape, was our ancestor that truly started to resemble our species, for it walked on two legs and started to have a bigger sized brain. The oldest records suggest that it roamed the earth four to five million years ago. Next came Homo habilis, handyman, used tools and had a 50% larger brain size. Its fossils were found one and a half to two million years ago. After came Homo erectus, or upright man, whose fossils dated 1.5 million years old. Homo erectus had a larger brain size. Homo sapiens, or intelligent man, appeared 200,000 years ago, leading to the present day. Obviously, there were a few factors causing us to adapt to the changing environment. The disappearing rainforests and the spreading grasslands gave us more of a need to walk rather than climb. The fact that we ate meat whilst the majority of apes ate fruit gave us more nutrients, which in turn gave us more energy and a bigger brain. By this, it made us hunters and gatherers. These are some of many factors that evolve, change us, and make us perfectly adapted to planet Earth. The human species ever evolved? Well, yes, we can. For example, in Central Africa, there is a specific genetic trait which stops the development of healthy red blood cells in favour of less healthy red blood cells. This is then to combat malaria which needs a good blood cell for it to effectively take hold of the human body. This is an example of human natural selection or biological evolution. Also, many people had a specific genetic trait which stopped smallpox from evolving by killing off the skin cells near it. Will the human species ever evolve? Yes, we can. Possibly in the future when we go up to space, then we can have enhanced features such as bigger eyes, flatter faces, pigmented skin, to help us with the new space environment in which we found ourselves in. In addition, the most likely species to possibly supersede Homo sapiens in the future are that of our descendants that would probably colonize and live on other worlds, providing their specific conditions like how strong their gravity is or how close they are to their star, which all could change the appearance and the internal workings of a human being. Scientists have debated for many decades that the human race will continue to evolve or not. There may be strong arguments that human sapiens will be replaced by an even greater race. Main diseases in today's world no longer affect human sapiens 
and their immune system will improve as ho well, however diseases may either be eradicated or the evolve become stronger. Other scientists believe that we will, we will evolve differently on other planets when space travel and causation is achieved. Space travel will, will require humans to adapt to the conditions in space. Global warming will cause us to live with hotter, wetter Earth. Therefore, human beings may evolve to become better, more intelligent. V varying appearances and humans are as well as in skin colors and perhaps more diver become divergent into different species. Scientifically, according to new factors on other planets, the human race will be more adapted, hence, to answer the driver question. Homo sapiens will su be superseded by a greater human race.